Whenever we talk about the world's biggest snakes, the image of giant anacondas or pythons comes to mind. But what if I told you that centuries ago, Earth was home to an even larger and more fearsome snake? One that would make today's anacondas and pythons look like babies. Imagine a snake so massive that it could touch the clouds with its head. Meet Titanoboa, the colossal serpent. In today's video, we're diving deep into the existence of this massive snake, shedding light on some truly thrilling facts. Don't go anywhere, this video is set to give you chills. Titanoboa's rise to dominance. Around 65 million years ago, when the dinosaurs went extinct, a gap was left in the food chain. Something had to rise to the top, and among the survivors were reptiles that evolved into some of the most dangerous creatures of that time. This was the age when the legendary Titanoboa emerged. Belonging to the same family as today's anacondas and pythons, Titanoboa was the world's largest snake, ruling the earth with its terrifying presence. The discovery of Titanoboa. In 2009, fossil evidence of Titanoboa was found in a coal mine in Colombia. At first, these fossils were mistaken for the remains of a giant crocodile, but as scientists examined them more closely, they realized these bones belonged to a massive snake, the largest ever to roam the earth. Size and strength of Titanoboa. So, how big was Titanoboa? The fossils suggest that Titanoboa could reach lengths of around 42 feet, or 13 meters, and weigh over 2,500 pounds, or 1,135 kilograms. To give you an idea, that's twice as long as today's largest anacondas and several times heavier. How Titanoboa lived. This giant snake thrived in the hot, humid jungles of South America, particularly in the ancient Amazon rainforest. Like today's anacondas, Titanoboa likely spent most of its time in water. Its size made it difficult to move on land, so it relied on rivers and swamps, where it could move with ease. Hunting techniques. Being a constrictor, Titanoboa would hide in water or under dense plants, waiting to ambush its prey. Once a target came close, it would strike with incredible speed, wrapping its enormous body around its prey and squeezing with a force of about 400 pounds per square inch, enough to crush bones. Why did Titanoboa go extinct? Titanoboa thrived in warm climates, but over millions of years, Earth's temperature gradually dropped. As the climate cooled, Titanoboa couldn't survive the lower temperatures and eventually disappeared. However, with global temperatures rising again, some scientists speculate that such large reptiles could reappear someday. Imagine the return of Titanoboa. If creatures like Titanoboa were to come back, how would we react? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get our updates.